Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to discuss the differences between Amazon FBA and Amazon FBM. Um, before we get started, please consider clicking the subscribe button, which is down below, like to the right or the left. I don't actually know. And then click the bell notification button so that you know when I bring out new videos. So let's get right into it. Amazon FBA, that stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. And that has its own benefits. And Amazon FBM, which stands for Fulfillment by Merchant, has its benefits as well and its drawbacks. Now I've written a list over here on my computer, the benefits and the drawbacks, just that I make sure that I cover everything. So we're gonna start with Amazon FBA. Uh, sorry, we're gonna start with Amazon FBM, which is Fulfillment by Merchant. And um, this means you have to ship out the items yourself. So you'll keep all the inventory in your house or in your office or in your warehouse or wherever, and you have to ship, out, ship them out yourself. Now, is this good, is this bad? Well, this means there's a lot more work. It also means that it's not very scalable because if you're getting, let's say, 100 sales a day, well, that's pretty hard to go and like, package and ship out 100 items a day. You could use um, your own courier service, that's pretty. You could use your own courier service of some sort, um, or a dropship or something, and do it that way. But that's like you're gonna have to sort that out, sort that out yourself. So another thing is it's also well, this really means it's not a passive income. So this like leads on to the next thing. Um, we teach pretty much or predominantly same sort of word um, about passive income, about making money when you're doing no work, or making money when you're sleeping, or making money when you're traveling. And in order to do this, you, um, you can't really do Amazon FBM because you're fulfilling the items yourself. It's a lot of work to actually do that. So with Amazon FBM as well, it's, it's often harder to get the buy box. So what is the buy box? Well, I'll have it up on the screen so that you can see. But the buy box is that thing that says buy it now. Sometimes it will say, um, it won't say buy it now, it will just say, um, other offers available and then you click that and then you'll see all the offers available and um, sometimes it might just be you selling it and Amazon's warehouse selling like um, a returned version of your product but often it's harder to get the buy box if you're doing Amazon FBM um, with Amazon FBM you don't your product aren't eligible for prime so if I buy one of your products because I'm a prime member that doesn't make any difference I don't I, I can't buy a product with Prime. I also don't get Amazon's legendary customer service like their return policy and pretty much everything that goes wrong with Amazon's customer service. I don't get that. So that's quite a big thing. And now another thing is people trust Amazon and they trust Amazon Prime and often when they buy something, and I know I do this, I always click the Prime tick button so that I only see Prime things. I don't want to see anything that's not Prime because I only want to buy with Prime. I feel like a lot of people do this and a lot of people only buy from Amazon if they can get Prime. And if you're not selling with Amazon FBA, you're selling with Amazon FBM, you miss out on a huge chunk of traffic because you're not selling with FBA, because you don't get the Prime, you don't get, you don't get any of this sort of, or any sort of these benefits. Um, so I think that's a huge, huge drawback. And I personally think that if you're gonna sell with Amazon FBM, you may as well be selling on eBay because why not? Like, it's pretty much the same sort of thing anyway. Um, so that's that's what I think about Amazon FBM. Let's go into what Amazon FBA is and the benefits and the drawbacks. So Amazon FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. And this means that you store your items in Amazon's warehouse, they ship them, they package them, they, they keep track of inventory, they do all that sort of stuff for you. And this can be pretty much anywhere in the world. So you can be, someone's here. So for example, if you're in America or you're just on holiday somewhere, then it doesn't stop anything. You still can get sales, you can still do everything. So for example, we went to America for two weeks and our sales continued just as they would if we were actually in London and nothing changed. So by doing Amazon FBA, you don't have to worry about anything. Someone can make an order without you even knowing and Amazon will ship it out to them and you still, you don't even know unless you check your sales. So that's why Amazon FBA is brilliant. Now, because you're doing FBA, your products are eligible for Prime. Um, you get Amazon's amazing customer service. Just, there are so many benefits. So, um, just to sum it up, Prime is, uh, Amazon FBA is brilliant if you wanna like, start a scalable, huge business on Amazon. And FBM is great, so Amazon's filled by merchant, is great if, if you're selling a product that is either too big, where Amazon will charge you over the roof, 
um, to fulfill it. So for example, if you're selling like a couch, then it doesn't really work because you're going to be charged a fortune to sell that. Or if you're selling something very expensive like a diamond, you don't want to send diamonds off to Amazon's warehouse. So in that scenario, then it is worth it to do Amazon FBM. But just in general business, the way we teach it, finding a product, selling a product, we highly recommend doing Amazon FBA just because it's a lot more scalable and it's passive income. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, even with all the um, distractions. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, please leave a comment below and of, of what you think is better, Amazon FBA or Amazon FBM, or if you just have any questions. And please leave this video a massive thumbs up and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.